Hi there everyone, welcome to today's Coffee Break webinar. My name is Jonathan Mudrick and I'm a product specialist with Exactal. Today's topic that we'll be covering is showing you how we can copy and paste measured dimensions. For those attendees whom are new to watching these webinar videos or are simply just new to Costex, I want to very quickly introduce Costex to you. What is Costex? It is a digital estimating software package with universal application, ranging from hand-drawn sketches, PDFs, 2D and 3D CAD files, as well as BIM models, which all incorporate on-screen measurement, live linked workbooks, revisioning capability, and BIM data extraction. Just briefly touching on last month's webinar, um, last month we had Milan Palmer who did a great webinar on um, our all new feature called auto count. He basically covered three main points. Uh, the first one being what is auto count? The second being how does auto count work? And the third point was four examples on how auto count can be utilized. If you'd like to view that webinar or any other webinars that we have recorded, please hop onto our website using the link shown up on the screen. Moving on to today's webinar, I'll take you through a few steps and different options that are related to the topic of copying and pasting dimensions. Before copying and pasting dimensions, one needs to know how to select the dimensions. There are four different ways on how dimensions can be selected, and I'll take you through each of these. We'll then move on to the actual copy and paste process. And then finally, once the dimensions are pasted, I'll then show you how you can use the Edit Controls button to move, rotate, mirror, or flip the pasted dimensions to suit their new required position. Therefore, let's switch over to Costex for a live demo. Looking at this particular building, a number of the office's areas appear to be the same. I can continue to measure them quickly and accurately if I wanted to, but because of the similar floor layouts, I'm going to copy and paste this already measured office across to all the other office areas um, to save some time. First up, selecting dimensions. The first option of selecting this measured dimension is to simply hold down the control key on the keyboard and then point and click on the measured dimension. You'll notice that the measured dimension changes to a bluish type color. This means that the dimension is selected. To deselect a measured dimension, you simply need to press the escape key on the keyboard and you should notice the dimension returns to its original color. For the second option of selecting this measured dimension, we can simply point the mouse cursor anywhere on the display window. Notice how my mouse cursor is in open space and not hovering over the measured dimension. Then register a right click and from the option menu hover the cursor over the select dimensions option. When the sub menu is displayed, click on the select all dimensions option. Notice how the measured dimension changes to a blue color, indicating that it is now selected. If there were multiple dimensions, Costex would have selected all of the measured dimensions simultaneously, which I'll get to later on. For now, I'll press the escape key on the keyboard and move on to the third option of selecting. The third option is very similar to the previous, but this time using the shortcut key of simultaneously holding down the control and A keys on the keyboard. As before, this option would select all the measured dimensions displayed on the drawing. I'll press the escape key on the keyboard to deselect the measured dimension and move on to the fourth option. This option is a button called select in area which exists on the dimensions ribbon. I'll select the button to turn this option on and then move the mouse cursor onto the drawing. Left click and hold down the left click to drag a box around the measured dimension. Again, if we had dragged this box around multiple dimensions, it would have selected multiple dimensions, which again, I'll get to later on with a few other shortcuts as well. 
that has now covered the four main options of selecting dimensions. Moving on to copying this selected dimension, we simply have the right click option to choose copy dimensions or if you like shortcuts you can also simultaneously use the control and C keys on the keyboard. Having done this I can move over to this other office over here then right click again and choose paste dimensions or you can use the shortcut keys of control and V. When I paste the new dimension the edit controls button is activated. The pasted dimension has a border around it and various editing controls are displayed. This means that I can move the new dimension to the desired position by clicking and dragging. Once copied a dimension remains on the clipboard so I can right click again and keep selecting paste dimensions or I can keep using the shortcut of Ctrl and V to create further copies. Again the edit controls function is activated and this time I'm going to click on one of the um, mirror edit controls to flip the dimension in the horizontal axis. Notice that you can also flip the dimensions over the vertical axis and you could also rotate the dimension by clicking and dragging this green toggle above the dimension if required. Once I've finished positioning the dimension I can click the edit controls button or press the escape key to turn off the edit controls and if I press the escape key again it deselects any currently selected dimensions. To make this functionality even more useful we can also select multiple dimensions simultaneously. As mentioned previously this can be done in a number of ways and the first I'm going to show you is using the control key. As I move the mouse around the drawing it temporarily selects individual dimensions as before. However if I hold down the control key and click a dimension it fixes that selection. By holding down the control key and clicking on further dimensions I can select them all simultaneously. It's worth mentioning that control clicking acts as a toggle between selecting and deselecting so to remove a dimension from the current selection I control click on it again and it will be deselected. Now the position of the cursor at the time of clicking is registered so if I right click at the top corner of these two selected dimensions their shape is held relative to the location. This means that if I then right click in the same position on these adjacent offices and paste dimensions they will align with the mouse position accordingly. As mentioned Another way of selecting multiple dimensions is to use the select in area button up here in the ribbon. Whilst I have this turned on I will click and draw a box and all dimensions that are wholly in the area are selected. If I want to include dimensions that are only partly in the area I can press the shift key like so and then any dimensions that even has just a part in the, the box become selected. Again the select an area function acts as a toggle so any unselected dimensions are selected and any already selected become deselected. Having used the select an area function I can still adjust the dimension selection um, with the control key action. This time with multiple dimensions selected and again using the mouse position as a reference point I'm going to use the standard Windows keystroke and press Ctrl and C to copy the dimensions. Move the mouse and press Ctrl and V to paste them. In this case one of the offices is slightly larger than the others so I'll, I shall press escape once to turn off the edit controls then press escape for a second time to deselect the dimensions 
and then make the necessary adjustments by dragging this line segment uh, to the desired position. Copy and paste doesn't only apply to single dimension groups and single drawings. If I use control to click and select the 400 by 600 millimeter concrete columns, in addition to the office's dimension group, I can right click over the drawing window and choose select dimensions, select all dimensions, or as it says um, on the menu text, press control and A. I can then use my preferred method to copy them all and then switch to the floor plan levels two and three drawing and I can paste them all to this alternative drawing. This time however I'm going to paste using the button on the ribbon which as the hint outlines paste the dimensions in the same place relative to their position on the drawing they were copied from, not relative to the cursor. The edit controls function is currently turned on, which means I could rotate, flip or move all of the select dimensions if necessary. In this case they align really well so I'll press the escape to turn off the edit controls. Selecting multiple dimensions isn't just about copying and pasting either. With all of these new pasted dimensions still selected, I can click on the change button where there are various options for changes I can apply. I can change the zones, change the heights, change the multiplier and change the offset if required. In this example, it may be a good idea to change the multiplier to 2 to account for the same layout on both level 2 and 3 of the building as indicated by the drawing name over here. Furthermore, let's say that levels 2 and 3 have a ceramic floor tile finish instead of a carpet finish. We would then require the previously pasted dimensions for the carpet dimension group to be moved into this ceramic floor tiles dimension group. Therefore, we can simply click the carpet dimension group, use the shortcut of Ctrl and A to select all the measured dimension groups, and then click on the copy drop down arrow in the ribbon above, and select move dimensions to another dimension group. Notice you also have the option of copy dimensions to another dimension group. In this example, we need all of this quantity to be moved to the ceramic floor tiles dimension group. So we will use the move option. We can now select the drop down arrow in this window to move the dimensions to the ceramic floor tiles dimension group and click OK. Notice the quantity for the carpet dimension group has decreased and the ceramic tiles dimension group is populated with a new quantity, also incorporating the multiplier of 2. And that draws an end to the live demo. Hopefully this webinar has given you more insight on the copy and paste dimensions functionality within Costex and you have realized just how powerful this feature can be in helping you save time. Thank you very much for watching the webinar. If you'd like to contact myself or any of my team members, please feel free to contact us using the details up on the screen. And if you'd like to view the recording of this webinar, visit our website as shown up on the screen. Thank you again and look forward to seeing you at the next one. Cheers.